Hey guys, what is up here? This is Lobby, and today we're going to be having a look at a, a real flow demon. It's not going to be a demon tutorial, but I saw a video on YouTube recently that was uh, using this demon. It didn't have this particular effect, but I played around with the values, and you can really, really easily get this really sick um, particle storm. Kind of looks like coral from the ocean, and you could use it um, just for like a particle field. Uh, Project 4D put out a video um, where you can render the um, particles from from real flow in Cinema 4D. I wanted to do that, but he did it first. Um, and yeah, so it's just really great. You can mesh it, of course. You can use it for just normal purposes, but it just looks really cool. You could use it for some kind of space scene. Um, but yeah, so let's just uh, let's get into it. So I'll delete the demon just for now. And we have this fill object here. We have a jittering of one. And we have this normal sphere here. Now I've made the sphere inactive and I've hidden it. But if I just put it in there, ooh, sorry, active. It's just a normal sphere. If we reset here, no size, uh, no size changes at all. If we go to fill object, I've just changed the resolution up to 10 and changed the jittering to one. I've changed the uh, the display colors here. So then, if I make this out of view and inactive, just hit reset, click on here, go into demons, go up here, top right, shader, and now the default max cavity size is two. And all we're going to do is change it to 2.5. Now this is in the proper daemon uh, tutorial. Um, you can check out the vault. Um, I might might do a detailed tutorial about the other things, but I have to research it myself. Um, I was just it, this. I just think this this looks really good. Um, so we'll reset this. This is all you have to do. And then we'll click on the fill object. We'll hit reset again, and then just hit simulate. And also, it's just incredibly fast. As so you can see here, we have the first particles kind of flying away. And what Cheetah does is, I can't remember if I correctly read it, but it makes particles to fill in gaps. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, but yeah, we're just getting this really cool, really cool effect here. So you can see already, they're all starting to uh, branch out like like coral in the ocean. And if you just let it, just wait, wait for, see what it does. You're just going to get this really awesome result. And um, I was really happy with this. I'm probably going to use this in a project, not not in this particular, uh, well, not in this particular way, but I'll implement it some, some other way um, because I just really like this. Like you could come in here, you could... It just looks like some abstract space kind of particles. Like um, I don't know if any of you have seen Matthias M. He, oh, he he's amazing. Um, a lot of these look like this, and it it's just really really cool. Look at that. We have this. Ah, oh, looks awesome. Looks like some kind of cells or yeah. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope it helped you. Um, we just have one string for you. You could even just make an animation where it where it ooh, where it just beautifully comes from here, and then it makes this, and then it branches off and. Yeah, just have fun with this. Hope you enjoy it. Um, really quick tour. I don't know. Was that like under a minute? No. All right. Well, three minutes. Okay. But yeah. So that's just a really sick effect. Um, if you enjoyed it, like it. I guess. Um, see you guys later. Um, yeah. Like it. I'm not gonna ask. Why. Anyway. Cheers. Thanks for watching. And uh, bye bye. Love you.